you cannot wash your toilet, you cannot wash your shower. You, it's not about everything shower. Can you wash the shower? Hi booze, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to this face. If this is your first time, do not make it your last. We're all about fashion, lifestyle and a bunch of general nonsense. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my feminine hygiene tips to always smelling good. It's one thing to look good and look like you smell good, but to actually be smelling good all the time, it's a different thing altogether, you know? I don't think I've done a video like this before, have I? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I just sat down and I thought about it and I was like, I don't think I've done a video like this, so I'm going to do it today. You didn't ask for it, but <laughs> that's why we're here. I'm gonna do it regardless. Okay, so yeah, keep watching because I have a few things that you might learn from or you're already doing and you agree with me on or yeah, this is my opinion. This is what I do. I am not preaching that it is the best or the worst, but this is what I do to smell good all the time at least 99.9% .9 of the time because we have some days we have some days let's not lie to ourselves we have some days where we're not our best you know but 99.9% .9 of the time <laughs> these are the tips to smelling good not just looking good but smelling good let's get right into it First things first, you guys already know how your oral hygiene should be, right? But these are the steps I have tweaked over the past few years. So I don't do things the way I would usually do them before. These are things I've introduced to my routine now. Another disclaimer I think I need to put out there is that most of these things, I don't do them every single day. Just so you know. I am not that extra every single day. But if you just want, let's just make this video like, if you want that day where your man is going to smell you or people are going to smell you like every part of you and they just cannot get enough of you these are the steps you're going to follow do you understand so this is not like for every single day but if you want that extra that extra like you have date nights or you just want to feel good about yourself you know when people do like their everything shower that kind of vibe if you want that extra step to smelling good these are the steps you're going to follow okay let me just put that out there before you say ah do you do this every single day no no, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Full transparency, I don't. But yeah, so oral care. Now, let me give you guys step by step. So the first thing I do is oil pulling. This is something I started doing this year. I heard about it from TikTok <laughs> because I hear about most things from TikTok. So I heard about oil pulling from TikTok. I never knew what it was all about. But apparently, it is when you use coconut oil, because that's what I have seen everyone use, mostly coconut oil. You would use coconut oil, you put it into your mouth, and you just swish it around your mouth for like 10 minutes before you even get into any part of like brushing your teeth or whatever. This was a game changer. Like I said, I have never used this before. This year was the first time I started using this. And guys, <laughs> the difference is clear. So I think any coconut oil, I think some brands actually even sell like oil pulling coconut oil but they put like mints in their own as well. But I just got the regular plain old raw coconut oil and this is what it looks like. I usually keep it in the fridge because I don't like when it's in its oil form. I like it when it's a bit congealed. So this is what it looks like. It is congealed because when it's like this, it's easier for me to use a spoon and scoop it out and put it into my mouth. But when it's inside your mouth, obviously it melts and it turns to oil. But yeah, this is what it looks like before I use it. So that's why it is like this because I put it in the fridge. But you can use it in its oil form. I'm just saying for me, it's easier because when I'm using the spoon, it feels like I'm not scooping up enough. You understand? So I leave it to congeal like this and then i take my spoon i take like a spoon like scoop up like one spoon like one tablespoon i put it in my mouth and i squish 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 for 10 minutes do not swallow do not swallow it do not eat it this is just remove all the particles on your teeth in between your teeth like just give it that fresh breath like so this is more like a will i say natural remedy i use this first for 10 minutes when i'm now done with this the next thing i do is flossing this is one thing most people don't do i notice it or people just do when they eat meat it's only meat it's only when they eat meat they think of flossing but flossing should be a part of your routine and guys there are different types of flossing so 
it's very important you floss before you brush your teeth every morning right this is the floss i would recommend this is the one that you would bring out and you would draw like this you guys know this one this is the string you bring it out and you go in so this is perfect for when you're about to brush your teeth in the morning so this is the one I would recommend for everyday use before you brush your teeth. Then for my people <laughs> that would like to floss after eating meat or after eating, this is the one you would typically go for. This is the everyday when you eat a floss. I typically don't use this before I brush my teeth. I find this more comfortable to use to remove everything from my teeth. But this is perfect for when you have targeted spots. Like you know where the meat is, you know where you want to go to. This is it. <laughs> so this is a different type of floss I use. Then the one that is always in my handbag when I go out is this type. I don't know if I even call this like floss, but let me show you guys what it looks like. I just like the fact that it is in a package like this. So it's very, very compact and easy to just carry in your handbag. This is what it looks like. I don't know what to call this, but they sell this as well. So this is what it looks like. So it doesn't like you just break one out and you use it so this is perfect because this is like a toothpick you guys know how much i don't know if i've talked about it i don't know if i've talked about it before but i hate toothpicks like i do i can't stand toothpicks because it does not get to where i want it to get to because it is just a stick it's not flexible right so sometimes when you're trying to force it in it just breaks off or you just don't get what you want it to get right so this is like a toothpick but a flexible toothpick so this is plastic so it bends it twists it's gentle it has rough edges so it really goes into areas you want it to go into so i would call this more like yeah a flexible toothpick let's just put it that way so this is the one i carry in my bag and i carry this regular floss as well too in my bag at least one of them is usually i have at least one or two i'm focusing more on this one this is the one you would use every time before you brush your teeth so you oil pull first and then you would floss flossing helps you just save yourself from going to the dentist every single month because regularly you're meant to be going to the dentist like twice a year right and that is just to kind of remove all the plaques and everything and the plaques are usually stored in between your teeth and it's caused from not flossing you know we just brush our teeth but we don't floss in between the teeth so it creates all this yellow anytime you see that yellow thing around your teeth or in between your teeth they're called plaques and it's from just dried up food and dried up bacteria that's why you have that so it's important to oil pull you know and then you're going with your floss <laughs> and then after flossing the next thing i like to do this might shock you guys because i know people like to do it afterwards but this is something i started doing recently i would say maybe last year ending or the beginning of i think towards the end of last year i started doing this the other way around the next thing i go in with is my mouthwash i know i know i know i was one of those people that would brush first and then use my mouthwash last but no 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 no. it actually makes sense to use your toothpaste last like your toothpaste should be the last thing on your teeth that's the whole thing it's meant to protect your teeth right so you go in with your mouthwash i've been loving this mouthwash i love this mouthwash so so much this is the terra breath dentist formulated fresh breath oral rinse and this is invigorating icy mint oh that was a mouthful but this is what it looks like this mouthwash they have different colors they have the pink they have the purple i've seen different colors so it depends on what you want but this is invigorating icy mint so i just wanted something for fresh breath so this definitely gets the job done so you go in with your mouthwash after flossing you know when you're done flossing you have a lot of things out so you just use this now rinse out everything you flossed rinse 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 and then you spit it out and then the next thing you do is now brush your teeth <laughs> we're finally gotten to the part where you'd actually brush your teeth yeah you brush your teeth now there's an argument or an ongoing argument that electric toothbrushes are better than manual toothbrushes i have used the both of them i still use my manual toothbrush <laughs> let's just put it that way i don't have any issues with electric toothbrush but i don't know if it's like in my mind or is like a mindset thing i feel like when i use my manual toothbrush i am brushing my teeth better maybe i am wrong correct me maybe i am wrong i don't know but like i said i'm telling you guys what i do i am not saying what is wrong and what is right this is what i do <laughs> yes nothing special just your regular 
toothbrush next thing is your tongue people finish brushing take their toothbrush and just brush their tongue no it's not about brushing your tongue when you're done brushing your tongue you scrape it out like you literally have to scrape your tongue so you need to invest in a tongue scraper because that is going to be a huge difference in your oral hygiene so there are different types of tongue scrapers so many of them i have all of them <laughs> i have all of them because i started off using this type so they have this type of tongue scraper this is what it looks like and then i switched to this one this is like the plastic tongue scraper i used this one for a couple of years maybe like two years or so and then i switched to what i am using now <laughs> and guys this one is the truth like you ca i can't go back i switched to the metal ones this is the truth these are the ones i use now so you have this type and you have this type this looks like an opener actually looking at this now this can actually be an opener yeah <laughs> but you have this this is a metal tongue scraper this job this gets the job done way better when i mean way better than this one it gets the job done way better than this one and what i love about this one is the fact that it is metal so you don't have to change it as much as this one because no this is plastic so this can get stained and you have to keep on changing it more often so what i do with this or what i would recommend you do with this so you don't change it as often as the plastic one you just boil hot water like you can do this every month you know or every other month i don't know but you boil very hot water and throw this inside and just leave it and it helps remove any extra dirt and any extra bacteria but i love these so much do not rinse out your toothpaste because like i said your toothpaste should be the last thing on your teeth like it should be the last thing in your mouth do not rinse it out when you're done brushing your teeth just clean your mouth rinse your toothbrush don't put more don't put water inside your mouth and like you just what was the point why why did you brush your teeth do you understand your toothpaste is meant to be on your teeth and it's meant to protect your teeth for as long as possible so do not rinse out your toothpaste when you are done brushing your teeth please 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 spit out everything and clean your mouth i use different types of toothpaste the first one is colgate your regular as colgate i have days where i just use colgate and this is the max fresh with whitening colgate toothpaste next kind of toothpaste you will find in my bathroom is the sensodyne sensodyne and this is the pronamel toothpaste i love this so much you guys are seeing that it's almost done i love this so so much so i switch between that and this one as well but currently i started using this toothpaste this is an og it's been there since nancy pogodom but i started using it again and this is the utamol original toothpaste and i think i love it so much because it's pink inside like it actually has like pink i'm just weird like that but besides the aesthetic of the toothpaste this bad boy is min c <laughs> anytime i use it i feel my teeth like really clean i feel my breath really fresh this toothpaste oldie but goodie and i started using it recently so i don't use this once as much but they are there as well but this one i would say i use it very often very very often this is my everyday toothpaste and i love it so very much okay guys sorry if the light keeps on changing the weather is getting darker i don't know why i waited last minute to film this video but let's just continue from where we stopped so yeah so the next thing is the shower care you guys already know it's very basic there's arguments out there not arguments but people say oh use a bath soap before using your shower gel or do like a pre cleanse before using your shower gel i do not use a bath soap personally what i introduced recently to my routine is a shower oil so you know how you have like your makeup removing oil or balm before you use your cleanser this is the same thing but for the body and this is the one i started using from uh, loxitan loxitane <laughs> You guys know what i'm talking about this is what it looks like and this is the almond shower oil this smells good i don't use this that often but like i said this is an extra extra <laughs> routine this smells really good when i use it in the shower so this just helps like do like a pre-cleanse for your body when you're done then you go in with your shower gel i switch between my dove shower gel and my scent ives so this is what they look like when i'm done with that the next step i do this like just twice a week i don't do this every time twice a week or when i shave or when i use my um my 
hair removing cream scrub 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 i love a good smelling scrub i talked about this in the last vlog this was the one i spoke about the pineapple one but i have the watermelon one as well and these things they smell so realistic like they literally smell like pineapple and watermelon and now i've gotten my sense of smell back and taste back so yeah i can smell it and this smells exactly like watermelon i don't know how they did it but it smells like watermelon and this other one smells like pineapples so i use this maybe like twice a week or when i shave like i said oh this smells exactly like pineapple guys see this this is <laughs> this is almost done i love this particular brand so much I like the feel on my skin and I love the smell like I said so yeah definitely scrub and you would feel way better after scrubbing your skin will feel very smooth your skin will feel very soft you guys know what it means when you exfoliate definitely invest in some body scrub when it comes to the things I use to scrub my body this is number one I use this more when I am using my scrubs so this gives that extra exfoliating feel to my skin and these are just gloves i got for that particular purpose for every day shower i have this sponge <laughs> this is very soft you guys know this nothing special about this but of recent <laughs> i have been using this and i definitely recommend this to you guys i use this i find myself using this every day i don't know what to call this but this is like a silicone very soft sponge i don't know what to call it but i use this part it has this part and this part but this is the part i use this is very soft when you see it like this you think that maybe it's not going to lather up the soap well but once you put your soap on this it will lather that shit up like you're going to use it on your skin and it is so soft on the skin it doesn't feel like you are over scrubbing your skin because we have no reason to over scrub our skin like there's no reason for that you understand so this is very gentle on the skin i love it so much so 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 much so yeah this is the one i use almost every day this particular one can be a bit controversial because i know some people are like i don't use it some people are like you shouldn't use it some people are like oh just use water <laughs> a product for your hoo-ha I use Femme Fresh. I have used Femme Fresh for years <laughs> upon years <laughs> upon years. It does not make sense telling me to use only water round. You have to wash it with something, right? But because that part is very sensitive, you cannot use the same bath wash you use for your body for that. That is why they formulated products like this that are more gentle and mild for that particular area. Now, nobody is saying put this inside nothing should go inside inside is self-cleaning it's just like your eyes right your eyes when you're doing your skincare when you're washing your face right you will take your soap and you rub it on top of your eyes here right it's like your eyelid right but you won't put the soap inside your eyes because you have tears i don't know if that concept makes sense right so yeah all you need is water or it is self-cleaning i get that you shouldn't put any product inside it's going to mess up your ph but round it <laughs> on the corners the crevices on top of it you need something my sister to wash it for me <laughs> if water is working for you kudos good job this is working for me i've not had any issues with this especially when you're done with your period You need to wash it out well and this is what i use i use this femme fresh intimate skincare daily wash so i don't know what works for you guys but like i said this video is about what works for me and this is what i use so yeah <laughs> just so you would know last thing before we're done with the shower hygiene is shaving so some people wax some people do laser some people use shaving cream for my shaving cream i spoke about this as well in my last vlog this is the shaving cream i use i think it's very important to shave as much as possible or to remove the hair on some certain areas as much as possible because they tend to just hold in all the bacteria and hold in smell and odor that is just the honest truth so if you don't remove the hair as much as possible you tend to smell more than someone that removes the hair in these areas you know so i am one to advocate for baby <laughs> baby <laughs> baby 
Yeah, remove the hair. Remove the hair. Let, let, you know, just remove it as much as you can. I think I want to get to a point when I start doing laser because I think waxing is just an unnecessary pain. It's really painful. I'm not going to lie, you know. So I think I might just go and graduate to laser and just remove it for good because I cannot deal. But yeah, the main thing is just make sure you remove the hair in these areas as much as possible so that they do not store bacteria which would lead to odor. Okay. You come out, you moisturize. It's even way better when you moisturize on damp skin and not dry skin because it seals in the moisture. And these are the two products I am using currently. This is the Nivea Nourishing Cocoa Lotion. <laughs> this is the Nivea Nourishing Cocoa Lotion. This one, I love it so much. And then I started using this one recently as well. This is the US evolution of smooth well <laughs> shea butter 24 moisture body lotion and this is in vanilla cashmere i love the both of them this one is my everyday go-to lotion and this one is for the days i want to smell edible and taste edible because this smells like vanilla ice cream really it does one thing i'll say about this particular product is that i hate the packaging so much i love the product i hate the packaging in the sense that the lotion or the cream is very thick right and then it has this kind of dispenser right so when the lotion is like somewhere here it stops coming out because the cream is so thick so this doesn't even do the job so i find myself opening it and trying to bring it out i don't know if that i don't know if you guys have the same issue but i don't like the packaging i feel like something like this should be in a jar because it's really thick so this gets me angry sometimes but the product which is the main thing love it so much it smells so so good and they have other flavors as well but this is the one i'm using vanilla cashmere you guys know how much i love my oils if you want that extra moisture that extra glow you have to incorporate oils in your routine and i have loads of them i think i have more but let me just show you guys these ones this one is from arami and this is the cocoa oil you guys are seeing what we have left so that's to show you how much i use this this is just like a coconut oil this one is from Avino and this is their daily moisturizing oil. This one has oat oil. Love this so much. I love the smell of this and I like the fact that this is like a spray oil. This makes more sense when you're done dressing up to go out and you just want to spray it on your legs and on your body and you just apply it. I love this so much. And then this is the Vaseline one. This one is a bit thicker. This is Cocoa Radiant Body Oil and I love this as well guys we're almost getting to the end don't worry just relax we're almost getting to the end you know i told you this is an extra extra routine so let's calm down so the next thing is your deodorants some people don't use deodorants i can never understand that i know some people are allergic to it they have like irritations and all of that i get it not me i cannot relate <laughs> i must use my deodorant and these are the ones i am using currently so i have this one from dove and i love this particular one this is the rose petals this is what it looks like i love it so much it smells so good and it lasts i find out that when i use this the next morning when i wake up my armpit still smells really really good so i love this so much and then i use this one as well this is like a stick i like this so much it smells oh it smells so so good so i find out that i use this more in the night like when i take my shower at night i use this and i use this during the day but yeah these are the two i use they smell really really good and they last really long now on to the last part which is the part i love the most fragrance fragrances i love this so much first thing i go in with is body spray now i've been using body spray since i was in secondary school so i got so used to using body sprays body mist like i cannot skip the step like no matter the amount of perfume i want to spray i must use my body mist first you guys know the bath and body works body mist they have so many of them they're always doing deals they always do sales buy two get four get four get so i pack them i pack them like there's no tomorrow but this one smells so so good this is called pure wonder but they have different types they have different types so this i take this after my lotion my deodorant i take this and i'm just like you just be spraying like there's no tomorrow like i just spray this all over my skin like i drowse myself in this for sure before I go in with my perfumes now with perfumes <laughs> I didn't know which one to show you guys but I decided to show you guys more clean fresh smelling perfumes and I have two in my collection that I feel like it's the perfect perfume to use after going through all this process and you want to still smell clean 
these are the two perfumes I'm going to talk about. The first one is by is from Byredo, and this is Mojave Ghost. If you guys know, you know. This smells like you just got out of the shower. Really, it smells very clean. Oh, this smells very clean. This is the definition of a clean girl perfume. I love this perfume so much. This is a very good everyday perfume. And when you're doing this kind of routine and you want to just keep up with that smell good, that smell fresh vibe, I'll definitely recommend this. A Moave Ghost by Byredo. I love it so much. Another clean girl scent I would recommend is Santal 33 by Le Labo see how much i have used this perfume <laughs> it is so good it has it has sandalwood if you love sandalwood you're definitely going to love this perfume it has sandalwood in it and it's very fresh it's very clean i love this perfume so so much so these are the two i'll show you guys when it comes to that smell good fresh scents these two so when you're done with all of this tell me why you won't be smelling good tell me why you will not be smelling good guys so these are the steps i take after the shower and then afterwards is now what you wear is now your environment for these ones people think everything ends in just your shower and what you spray on your body and all of that but they tend to forget that number one you cannot be wearing any hard kind of clothes you cannot be wearing clothes that you didn't let dry so you're wearing damp clothes it has this odor already even if you spray everything you want to spray if your clothes don't dry and they have this damp smell it is going to still smell like it's going to still smell if you do not air your clothes if you're wearing your outside clothes inside well i know most people don't do that but for me i do not like wearing my outside clothes inside what i mean by this is that when i go out and i come back in i tend to change my clothes immediately because when i go out and come back in i feel like i'm sweaty i feel like there's this smell from outside i don't know if it's just me so i tend to come back home change into my stay at home clothes i don't know who else does that but i do that a lot i don't like wearing my going out clothes or the clothes i wore i wore when i went out to come back in to lie on the bed to sit on the chair all of that i just like changing i don't know if it's just me I'm just so used to changing to my stay at home clothes especially when i did something rough for the day like i went somewhere i'm sweating and i feel dirty i went out clubbing or went out to a lounge or whatever i just need to change as soon as i come back you need to think about your hair as well your hair care is very important i know i am a big fan of a bonnet of a scarf but it's important to let your hair air out like remove the bonnets let air touch your hair it's fine just let it open remove the bonnet my sister remove it when it comes to your underwear your bras you need to change them out leave that black bra alone leave it alone wear other bras wash your bras wear cotton underwear all this lace all this lace <laughs> leave it for once in a while when you're doing something nice for your man which you'll still take off but every single day invest in cotton pants wear your cotton pants or don't even wear pants at all wear loose fit clothes as much as possible because tight clothes equals heat equals bacteria equals odor that's how it works when you're wearing loose clothes everything is just out <laughs> in the open you know air is just entering you will just see that your body is just the same breathing space and you would feel cleaner you would feel fresher you would smell cleaner you would smell fresher that is definitely important and then your environment you cannot be looking clean you cannot be looking like a fine babe smelling nice and then they'll come to your environment everywhere is dirty why sorry if i'm shaking tables i'm sorry <laughs> You cannot fold your clothes, you cannot hang your clothes, you cannot put away your laundry, you cannot wash your clothes, you cannot clean where you stay, you cannot bring out broom or vacuum or rag and clean where you stay, you, your stay. You cannot wash your toilet, you cannot wash your shower, you, it's not about everything shower. Can you wash the shower? Is it clean? You just need to take care of your environment as well too because these things, they breed bacteria as well. Yeah. Bring out your clothes from your closet once in a while, dust everything, clean everything, hang them back. It's part of it. Mm -hmm. Your products, your perfumes, whatever, bring them out once in a while and clean them. Clean the table, arrange them back. It's part of it, you know? So it goes beyond just things you do for yourself, like on your body. Your environment is very important, you know? So yeah, that's it. I think that is everything. I hope I covered everything. And these are the steps. <laughs> to smelling and looking clean for me i hope you guys learned something i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye